So I've got a cold, uh, feel terrible, but I've got to do this video. So let's get into it. It's time for the showdown of the century. The plucky upstart speed paint versus the reigning champion, Contrast. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! I've had these speed paints for a week or so now, and I think it's time to do a direct comparison with Contrast to see where the real differences lie. To make this a fair comparison, I've prepared two identical assault intercessors for this, primed them both in white, and then had to decide how to paint them. I settled on painting them up as Blood Angels, as it would let us test out a few of the colours and give us a nice, bright scheme to work towards. So I picked out matching sets of colours from both ranges and got to work. The red went on nice and smooth in both cases, but they dried significantly differently. The contrast left tide marks across all the panels, whereas the speed paint ran straight into the recesses, just leaving a filter over the panels themselves. However, the speed paint did dry slightly glossier, or more satin than the contrast paint did, I presume this is something in the speed paint mix that helps to lower the surface tension and push it into those recesses. But despite the slightly glossier finish, I did prefer the speed paint red here as it leaves a much neater end result. After the red had dried, I went back in with a white to touch up areas that I'd messed up, such as the edges of the pouches and the weapon grips. This is where I noticed something new with the speed paints. Previously I'd only used them to paint whole models in a single colour, so I hadn't had any reason to neaten them up. But now I was doing that. I noticed that the speed paint was reactivating and bleeding into the white touch-ups. This left an off pink tone for me to work off rather than a bright white. I thought I might have tried to touch them up too quickly, as I've noticed that speed paint does take a little bit longer to dry than contrast, so I left them to fully dry overnight and tried again, but even then the red was still coming through. I've been using contrast paints since they came out and have never noticed this happening, so this is my first big negative of the speed paint range. I used the greys for the bolt pistol and the chainsaw, hoping to get that non-metallic metal type look that people got very excited about when Contrast launched. For me, they don't quite do that look justice, and I'd probably stick to true metallic paints in the future, but they are both nice greys, with the Contrast coming out a little darker than the speed paint. The yellows are both very similar in tone, but because of the reactivation issue I had with the red speed paint, the finish for the speed paint yellow ended up muddy and muted. I knew I could have varnished over the red before touching up the white, but I'm trying to do these tests from the point of view of the target market for these style of paints. And I don't think that varnishing between layers should be an expected step for beginner level products. On the band brace, where I had the original white prime to go on, the speed paint came out much more orange in colour than I anticipated. So here the contrast yellow is a clear winner for me. Despite both paints having leather in the name, they aren't as similar in tone as you'd expect. So it's not a straight comparison here. The speed paint is much darker than the contrast, almost more of a chestnut brown than a leather colour. They're both nice and have a nice finish, so I'll happily keep both of them in my arsenal for picking out pouches, belts and straps, as it will help me vary my browns with very little effort. So this one's a draw. I touched up the lenses with white, and for the speed paint model, quickly hit it with a hairdryer to speed up the drying time. I found that this helps a little with the reactivation issue. I then used the green paints from the range to paint the lenses. Both paints worked fine for this, with the speed paint giving a slightly brighter finish, but neither is bad so it will come down to personal preference. After a quick dunk into some of the Geek Gaming base ready range, they are ready for the tabletop. Here's a side by side of them both finished. All in, they took me about 20 to 30 minutes each to complete to this standard, which is pretty good going. If you want to see colour tests for all the colours in the speed paint starter set, make sure to watch the video here. For me, it's a bit of a mixed bag. After my first experiments, I was really excited for the speed paints. But after discovering the reactivation issue, it's left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Let me know what you think down below. Which range do you prefer? Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.